what's good youtube welcome to my channel manifesting with karmic side gal my name is shakayla and here on my channel i talk about manifesting the life you deserve to have my process and journey through ascension and of course spirituality in general if you are new here i am so thankful for you and i really appreciate you checking out this video and i hope that you get what you need out of this message um, if you're part of the spiritual family, big hearts go out to you guys. You know that I'm eternally grateful for you and just happy to have you as part of my family. And I'm sending you all so much love and healing vibes. If you can see from the title of this description, I'm rocking with you guys for the collective message of the week. Okay. Yes, guys, I am doing a voiceover because... Your girl's just not camera ready and sometimes it's just like that. So today I'm going to pull a few cards for you. And before I get out any cards, I'm going to drop you guys with a little channel message. And this is just coming straight from the heart with my experiences that I've been having lately. And I want you guys all to know that it's okay to have fears fear is normal it's a regular emotion just like happiness just like love just like anger or sadness or even grief okay so we're going to have fears and they're normal but what you want to do is use your fears to motivate you to inspire you and ask yourself more questions about what it is why you're having these fears and why it is that they're holding you back okay um oh we already got so many good messages coming out today and it's just time to truly be present within ourselves and ask what it is that we need how can we support ourselves i say this in almost every video and i'm gonna keep saying it until you guys really get the message so with all that being said, don't allow your fears to hold you back. Whatever it is that you want to do, do it. There's a lane for it. There's a space for it. There's not too many people doing it. It doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter if the people in your life support you or not. Just do it. Do what makes you happy. Whatever those things are, when you finally figure out what you want and what makes you happy and feel fulfilled, then go after it with tenacity. Don't let any thing stop you so jumping right in at the bottom of the deck we have the card we are the world i'm using the osho zen oracle deck if anyone is wondering uh, this card is the number 10 and this is all about completion closing out cycles now when we close out cycles it is a sort of an ego death in a sense because we come to a conclusion we make peace with something inside of ourselves and even if it's externally still happening in the environment because we made that internal peace is no longer affecting us impacting us triggering us and that cycle is closed and now you can start anew now you are a new version of yourself i said this before in a past reading and if i can figure out which one it was then i will definitely tag it here but what is the most important thing with this overall energy of this reading today is that you are allowing yourself to have these deaths okay because every time that you release a different part of yourself you become a new version and because you are a whole new person you don't have to entertain that same shit that you used to entertain in the past you're no longer triggered by those same things and so you don't want to move with the same behaviors, the same emotional responses and reactions as you did in the past. You are a whole new you. So it's time to let that shit go and keep it moving. So the first card that we got coming out is the energy of two. This is all about balance and duality in our feminine and masculine energies. And I'm also going to tag another video here about feminine and masculine energy and what that means and in that video i kind of talk about how 
you're supposed to be having balance within both of them but at certain times and certain moments it's going to call for you to be either more masculine or more feminine no matter what your gender is and this card says moment to moment okay this is about being present in the moment but also in those specific moments finding balance having duality within those different energies going on as you are taking each step taking each moment and just being present in every moment of your day okay yesterday i got kind of bummed out on myself because i forgot to upload um my music challenge of the day to tiktok and now i'm like have to double up today right and then i realized i'm not about to be mad at myself for that because the reason that I didn't upload it because I was enjoying my fucking life. I was living in the moment and being present in the space that I was. And sometimes when we are so pulled by our work and what it is that we have going on, we miss out on crucial moments in our life, okay? And the card that came out to clarify moment to moment is sharing. And this card has this beautiful goddess and she is surrounded by this tapestry of flowers and she is literally offering she has an offering for her ancestors it has a candle some different fruit on there and this is all about the nectar the sweetness of life and really enjoying those moments and sharing those moments with people having those relationships and those connections and i definitely think that this is just something you want to consider if you don't have an altar if you don't pay any homage to your ancestors then that's something that you definitely want to start to consider. Um, even if it's just starting with a white candle or some fruit. Something that I did recently, I don't know, with a few months ago, but when I venerate my ancestors, I have like pictures of them, the ones that are closest to me and that I feel their energy and I connect with regularly. I start putting their picture up on my altar and the ones that I didn't know say for like my great grandmother she passed away when I was only like three so I didn't really know her I didn't have a connection to her to know like the things she liked the type of music she liked what kind of food she liked to eat and although I get messages and they can communicate with me and say I want some cornbread this week you know I don't always know so what did I do I went to my grandmother and I talked to her about her mom which kept the memory of her alive I don't know if you guys ever seen the movie Coco but this is a huge thing definitely go check that movie out I'm not mentioning that for no reason but when they went to venerate their ancestors on the day of the dead um, they did it for a purpose it was to keep their memory alive because once their memory was lost they had a second death which is when their spirit is completely gone okay so it's very important to talk about your ancestors um even communicate with them regularly find out more information about them you know so that you can build a real relationship with them because you can't just go to your ancestors and your spirit guides and be asking for stuff and you're not giving nothing back that's like if you met me on the street and was like, can I have $100? I would be like, what the fuck? No, I'm not giving you $100. I don't even know you. That's what it's like when we go ask our spirit guides to give us money or resources or bring us friends or love in our life. Why would they be on the spirit realm doing all this extra work when we're not even doing nothing in the physical realm to send them love or gratitude? That makes no sense to me. Now that completely got sidetracked from the reading, but the next card we got coming out here is the burden. Okay. This is the energy of six. And what this energy is really telling me is to have self care for yourself. Okay. Right now, this is going to be a time where you might be taking on a lot of things energetically or physically or emotionally or all three in this card there is a uh, one man and he is walking and he looks so tired and so defeated and there's another person on his back basically leading him and guiding him and on that man's back there is a rooster okay and that is really saying that this is a huge alert in your life that you need to really be taken seriously and let go in and releasing some of the burdens that are holding you back okay um six is the energy of unconditional love it's the energy of self-care and care for others compassion 
And you always want to make sure that you're giving that to yourself because you may not get it from other people, okay? Because the card we got coming out to clarify this is aloneness. And in this is this person on a journey and it's completely dark around them, but there's this small speck of white light, which the person seems to be walking towards, okay? And this is the energy of nine. And nine is saying you're almost there, okay? I just did a TikTok last night and I was a little bit frustrated. The TikTok explains itself, so I'll post it to the channel um, as a short sometime today. But I just basically was saying how I actually had a moment of loneliness because I used to have a lot of friends I used to have a lot of people to call and share my excitement my excitement with when I had like something happen to me that was good or newsworthy. And in that moment, I just want to share something with somebody outside of my girlfriend or my sister. And when I pulled up my contacts, I didn't have nobody to call. And it wasn't that I couldn't call some of the people that I know or that I'm not even close to some people. It's just I knew that those people wouldn't really be happy for me. And I didn't want to take on that energy or even have to feel that. And that made me feel kind of alone. OK, and sometimes that is the burden, the burden of following your true calling, the burden of being on a higher vibration than other people, because Everybody else is not always going to see what you're going to see, okay? And you don't want to exhaust yourself in any type of way just to be making other people around you feel comfortable, okay? You have to do what you got to do and you have to keep going towards that light and hope that you meet those people at the finish line. And if you don't, I promise you that you there will be so much other people along the way that you will meet that will be cheering you on it's like a marathon when you see those people and they're like cheering and cheering and cheering and you don't even know any of those people in the marathon they're probably there to support other people but somehow it feels like you're being cheered on and when you get to the finish line it feels that much better that you did it all by yourself okay now, the next card that we got coming out is awareness. This is of the number seven, okay? And what that is saying is that there's a lot of distractions going on, okay? When we look at seven energy, it's like a lot of options, okay? And sometimes when we have so many options, it can be in a, dist a distraction to us, a distraction to our happiness, a distraction to our peace, a distraction to our purpose. And what this card awareness is saying is to be aware where you are at this current moment, what it is that you need, what you don't need, what you need to release and being present. OK, allowing yourself to be present in your happiness, um, allowing yourself to be happy, period. We got celebration clarifying that card, which is the energy of number three. This is a joyous card, okay? They are literally dancing in the rain. And this is really giving me vibes of that Janae Echo song. Um, it's called like something 2020. I'll link it up here in the corner. But she's like, I'll take some rain when my sun shine. I sound terrible and off key, but she basically is saying that as long as she gets to shine, as long as she gets to celebrate, the rain is okay because you know what? The rain cleanses. It removes the things that we don't need. It hyper it hyper sensitizes us to what's going around us. It opens us up to have more awareness, to allow our third eye to be completely open and to just truly enjoy life as it is, even if there are highs and there are lows. And allowing yourself to be where you are, no matter where that is, okay? Um, there is always a moment for celebration, even when you feel like it is a difficult time. If you feel like you have nothing to be celebrating, then at least take a moment of gratitude of the things that you do have or the things that you have now when you didn't have in the past. Because don't even get me started. I got a whole testimony for that. Now, the very last card we got coming out for this week's reading is transformation. Oh, uh, okay. This is 
the number 13, okay, which comes down to four. And what we're talking about here is transformation of your stability, of your home life, of your finances. This card is really telling you that you have all the tools that you need. And you kind of need to open yourself up to have a different level of awareness, um, a new perspective of things and what you have going on right now. And what it is that you can tweak or do differently to create more abundance in every area of your life, not just financially, but emotionally, physically, um, spiritually, what else could you be doing with the energy that you currently have? Okay. We're going over a huge overhaul right now of our, um, seven chakra. The crown chakra right now is just completely being expanded and opened in a collective way. Like, I don't want to get too crazy or off track here, but the whole time when the pandemic started and when you think about Corona, in Spanish, that is literally the word crown. And when we took that time, when we couldn't go to work, when we couldn't hang out with friends, we literally were just left with ourselves, which is right on time because the card clarifying that is nothingness, the energy of five, okay, the energy of change. And when we were left with nothing just to be with ourselves, that was the moment, the opportunity to have that self-reflection, to see what you were doing right, what you could be doing better, um, allowing yourself to really have transformation in your life. There's this amazing quote, and I know I left it underneath one of my um, videos once, and I posted it to my Instagram story the other day, but it goes something like, the amount of change that a person can experience, which is an exact match for the amount of truth that they allow themselves to see without running away. And at this time, spirit is calling you to just be honest with yourself, be truthful and see what it is that you need to release, to let go of what's holding you back, what burdens are weighing on you at this moment release them and truly just be in a celebration for who you are and what you were created to be okay this week is all about you we are moving into the full moon in leo this next week which i'm going to do a separate video about maybe a meditation or something i don't know i for sure going to go live on instagram but i'll update you guys just keep be posted on my social medias because that's when i'll uh, that's what i'll update it to but this full moon in Leo is really telling us to release all the parts of ourselves that are holding us back from letting our light shine, okay? This full moon is going to be so powerful for our confidence, for our self-esteem, and really stepping into this energy of what I said of moving, going, keeping going no matter who's with you or who's coming, who's going to be able to come with you, okay? It's like if you had a field trip, a school field trip as a kid and your best friend couldn't go, would you tell your teacher, oh, I'm going to stay back at school too? No, you wouldn't limit yourself that opportunity, that experience. So please, as an adult, as a full grown person, please don't limit yourself from experiences, from moving somewhere, from being in a relationship, from trying out a new job, just because the people around you won't understand or won't be able to do it with you. This is your life and you have to be the one to take advantage of it. So that was a pretty quick message, hopefully. And I hope that you guys got what you needed out of that this week. I will definitely be in touch with you guys again. Make sure you jump on my website, fullmoonbeauties.com. If you are looking to book with me for any services like chakra healing, um, solo meditation, group meditation is always Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I have a plethora of different readings that I do on there as well. So if you want to book a personal link with me and you can always message me on Instagram or on TikTok. I always reply to my messages and respond to the comments. I'm sending you guys so much love, peace and abundance. Peace out.